you know, to me, it's frustrating because they didn't steal it from me. They stole it from the boys and the kids in the community. And who steals from the Boy Scouts anyway? Well, that's, uh, this is what a troop in Decatur Township is asking tonight. Yeah, tonight at 530, Earl and Mary Mills spoke to members of the Southwest Side Troop who lost their trailer. Yeah, but like good scouts, they are still prepared <laughs> to carry on with their weekend campout. Members of Boy Scout Troop 316 are getting ready to leave for their spring camporee this weekend. They're loading up this trailer with sleeping bags, food, and camping supplies. But a few things are missing. I was actually kind of ticked off, mainly because, I mean, we earned all that stuff. That stuff includes some cookware, small stoves, and a dining tarp stored in the spare trailer. A trailer that would have been used this weekend had it not been stolen from this church parking lot Wednesday night. Uh, the old trailer typically sits right here where we're standing now in this parking spot. Um, the only thing that was sitting here was the wheel chalks and part of the tongue lock. Fortunately, the dollar loss isn't all that great, but they say it's just frustrating that someone would do this. Don't know why they did. Don't understand why they would take the trailer, really. Doesn't make any sense to me. Scout leaders say they're just glad it's not interfering with the weekend campout. After all, Boy Scouts are taught to be prepared. We're always teaching the kids, you know, to uh, think outside the box a little bit, and if you have to do without something, come up with an alternate plan. So they've replaced what they need and crammed all their supplies in one trailer instead of two, but it's still upsetting. You know, to me, it's frustrating because they didn't steal it from me. They stole it from the boys and the kids in the community. And if they could ask the thieves just one question? Why would you take it? I mean, there's no reason you should take it. We're just some scouts that need to use it. While this trailer is stored elsewhere, they won't be taking any chances with it. Hopefully we'll get it wrapped so it'll be more obvious. And I'm, I'm seriously thinking we're going to put a GPS tracker on this one. Because the next time, if there is one, we might be more prepared for it. For now, Troop 316 is prepared to take off for a big weekend outdoors. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. The scout leaders say the trailer was more than 15 years old and the contents worth just a few hundred dollars. But they have now filed a police report. Of course, they hope those thieves are hopefully finally caught.